What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. So on this video, I went out to Lake Athens. I've got a tournament coming up there in a couple of weeks. I've fished the lake a couple of times. And what yeah, I know about all grass lakes, and especially this one, is you can go through some real big lull periods where it's hard to get a bite. If you don't get your bite early in the morning in a tournament, it can be a little bit daunting. You don't even have your five fish yet. So what do you do? I just started tournament fishing last year. Drop shotting for bass was never really something I wanted to do because I don't see it as a way to catch consistently at least really large bass. Not to say that you can't catch ones, but I would always throw much bigger lures and moving baits typically. So this day I went out there, I found a really tough day of fishing, pulled out the drop shot, and this ensued. Good morning from Lake Athens in Athens, Texas. I have been wanting to get on this lake for a while now. Of course, I wasn't filming, but my first ever drop shot bass. That's a pretty good one, too. Okay. What y'all think about that, guys? I'm real good about not filming today. Oh! A frisky drop shot bass. Lee, you wanted that drop shot, took it all the way to the stinking gullet. To admit the drop shot fish are fun. Golly, she choked it too. Better than I thought he was. Well, that would be a limit if I was in a tournament. A no fun limit, but you know, well, I say no fun. It's always fun to catch fish. Always fun to catch fish. Oh, got stuck to me. All right, guys. So something that we don't do enough of in this community is support each other. 
get really self-constrained and really in our own lanes. So with that, I want to do a couple of shout outs. I was asked to do these shout outs, but I feel like it's something that we need to start doing a better job in the social community of supporting each other and giving each other props. So with that, I'm going to put these names up here individually. I recommend going and checking out Buck underscore bros underscore goat. Buck is lowercase. Bros is lowercase, other than the first letters. GOAT is all caps on that one. Now the second one that I want y'all to check out, also was asked to give this shout out, was LBMF underscore GOAT. LBMF is all caps, underscore GOAT, capital G, rest of it is lowercase. I put both of those up there for y'all. Please go check these guys out. If you want to give them some uh, kudos, some comments, some subscriptions, I'm really I'm sure they really appreciate that. I would appreciate it. And hey, consider doing the same for me. Thanks, guys. And there's another drop shot bass, another drop shot bass, look at them go, the drop shot bass. I don't know why I'm singing that song, I just never caught any drop shot fish before today and I'm super excited about it. Good chatterbait fish. I knew I was going to catch one of that Chad Chad. I was getting way too many followers. Getting way too many followers. Nothing special there, but... Alright, so you can see, pulled out the old drop shot, saved the day. Was able to get a jackhammer fish fishing out a little bit deeper and doing what I call fluttering it or some people might think of it as yo-yoing it. But that's what you're going to have to do on some of these tough days. There's a lot of boat traffic out there. The wind was kind of funky. There wasn't a ton of it. It was out of the east at one point, which tends to really affect, I feel like, all Texas lakes, but especially east Texas lakes. So sometimes you're going to have to go to these more finesse techniques to catch fish, even on a fun fishing day like this was. 
and when you're preparing for what a tournament could be like, which is exactly what I was doing in that particular scenario. If y'all have any questions about this lake or what I was doing or just anything whatsoever, keep it PG, of course, put them in the comments. Please make a comment that helps the video, it really helps everything generate. Um, the algorithm picks that kind of stuff up, putting a thumbs up in there, subscribing to my channel. All these things are free ways to support me. I would really appreciate it if y'all would consider it, especially if y'all would do it. And check out in the links in the comments, I've got some discount codes for y'all. Thanks guys.